Welcome back to Point and Click Sundays with your pal the Tripmon here. We're ready to go on to another Point and Click adventure. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and join the series because it keeps me going with everything you like. Well, let's begin. What's with the door scanner? What's with the fancy dance scanner, Bosco? Tools are necessary. Tools are the only things that separate us from the animals. That probably plays a little better with the non-dog and rabbit ground. That's why I need the personal antipathy registration annulment and non-negational omnifunctional identification device. That's just paranoid. Technically, yes it is. Oh, the store looks great. Well, the store looks uh, interesting. It ain't a store no more. And did you know people who say that something looks interesting are more likely to be serial killers? More likely than who? Than non-serial killers. It's a fact. A fact they don't want you to know. Who doesn't want me to know? Exactly. Who's your decorator? My regards to your decorator. Yeah, what's the style? Early colonial conspiracy theorist? No, a theorist is somebody who has a theory. I have conspiracy facts. So, I guess you'd be a conspiracy factist. He's certainly not a cluist. That was horrible. Because he doesn't have a clue. Yeah, I got it. That was bad. Do you have any? Do you have any bulletproof edible underwear? I don't have anything. This ain't a store. Do you have any Lords of Leaping and or Maids of Milking? I told you this ain't a store. <laughs> I don't care. Do you have any inflatable arms capable of being used as replacements for your real arms? Didn't I just tell you this ain't a store no more? It's going to end with, let me check. Do you have any passive aggressive payback disguised as an innocuous customer inquiry? Do you have no, any? <laughs> it's not. No. Oh, why didn't you say so? A trillion dollars worth of detection equipment, and yet he still didn't see that one coming a mile away. <laughs> Do you have any bulletproof edible underwear? Okay. Enough about the store. Enough about your store. It's not a. Oh, forget it. <laughs> Sorry about that. I had a I had a sneeze. I took my headset off and everything, so hopefully it's good. What's in the package? Say, Bosco, what's hey in guy, the? Hey, guys, does my package sound like it's ticking to you? Not your best pickup line, Bosco. Oh, I don't know. I think my package is the bomb. Now that's a pickup line. Your package is the bomb. Who would send you a bomb? My mother, of course. She sends me one every year around this time. Families need traditions. So why don't you just get rid of it? I built that bomb disposal unit for that very purpose. So why don't you just get rid of it? Because it might be the billion dollar plunger I just ordered. What a dilemma. Why don't you open the package? Just open your package, Bosco. But what if it's the bomb? I thought I heard ticking. Get rid of the package. Just get rid of your package, Bosco. But what if it's my plunger? I gotta be sure it's ticking. Okay, okay, I get it. See ya, Bosco. I gotta get that watch. Hey, that looks like one of the four horsemen action figures. Yeah, I know. At least this trash can is the same old innocuous garbage festooned receptacle we remember it to be. Hey, stay away from my viral prionic malarial inoculator. Oh, well. Weenie jerky. How do they make jerky out of weenies, Sam? You're not old enough to know. And neither am I. Periscope. I'm glad somebody's keeping wary of the inevitable pigeon uprising. Surveillance photos. Let's see. Bosco's spying on his own bathroom, the director from WARP-TV, the L-Train, and... Hey, wait a second! Us! Can we borrow your bomb be gone? There's some obsolete landmines around the office we need to get rid of. No, if I loan my bomb disposal unit out to everyone in the neighborhood who needed it, I'd never get it back. You know, in this neighborhood, that's actually true. He's right. Photography equipment for people who've never heard the word digital. It's an old photograph enlarger. I want... No, Max, no. It won't work on people. Hey, an x-ray machine. Don't fool with that. Hugh Bliss's master plan. Bosco's a little behind the times. 
This is the kind of radio that eats other radios for brunch. Don't fool with that! Wow. Suddenly, it all makes sense. I can't see where we fit into all this, Sam. Oh, I've got a couple of walls upstairs devoted to you two. Yeah, he's still... Everything's stable. Well, except for the proprietor. Security Wait. game. Are the high-intensity security lasers to keep us from getting into the bathroom, or to keep something from getting out? Hopefully not out. Even dark rooms need popsicles. Stay away from my cryogenic freezer. I'll need to put myself in suspended animation once the end times come. If it's a cryogenic freezer, why are there still mustard-covered snow cones in there? Just because I'll be in suspended animation doesn't mean I don't want a snack. Fair enough. All right, I think this is all we can do for Bosco. I I'm pretty sure I gotta send him a letter. Well, no, no. Oh, more photos. How does he get these shots? Probably gotta send him another thing. And whoa, that thing's open. I didn't know this was open. Stinkies. It wasn't open last season. Stinky's Diner. It's back in business. An excited neighborhood reopens its arms and its emergency rooms. Sweet! Ah, the smell of desiccated eggs, congealing bacon fat, and rye bread gone awry. It's like Stinky's Diner never closed. Welcome to Stinky's. We never close, except when we're closed. Who are you? I'm Stinky. The stinky we know was a cantankerous old man who transformed his seething hate to a misanthropic smorgasbord of culinary horrors. That does sound like Grandpa. Okay, we're ready for the next round of trivia. And the question is, when did the War of 1812 begin? A. 1812 B. 20,000 years B.C. C. March 3rd, 2004 D. Bangers and Mash Um, that, that's easy. 1812, I, I know that much. Hey, Sybil. Oh, hey there, Sam and Max. What was all that commotion outside? Just a little urban renewal project that got out of hand. By the way, didn't you tell us that you wished your office was closer to a good restaurant? That's right. Why? No reason. <laughs> Are you on a date? Are you and Abe on a date? Well, if you want to call it that. What if I wanted to call it... The unspeakable obscenity from beyond space, cackling on the threshold of utter madness. I think I'd prefer date. How are things with Abe? Think there'll be more dates in your future? Who knows? I'm no fortune teller, but... Oh, wait a minute. I was a fortune teller. Or wait, was I a sports therapist? Were the balls crystal or merely inflamed? Good point. Are you still Queen of Canada? Are you still the Queen of Canada? Hardly. I thought they'd be happy when I annexed the U.S. But all they did was complain. They were all faltering dollar this, and pernicious crime rate that, and unwieldy and inefficient healthcare system. Moan, moan, moan. I didn't think Canadians ever complained. They did it in that really polite, passive-aggressive way that just made it worse. <laughs> what brings you here? What brings you here? I thought it would be fun to play this trivia quiz. But instead, we're stuck watching Stinky make a mockery of the word knowledge. Sounds like fun to me. Yeah, Max and I always have a blast making a mockery of the word justice. Okay. How... You're not enjoying the trivia contest? No. I'm sure my answers are right. But Stinky says otherwise. I'm sure you're right too, dear. If this is too aggravating... Oh no, this is fine, Abe. I'm just enjoying being here with you. If I weren't trying to impress Abe, I'd claw that lying witch's eyes out! You should let Lincoln see the real you! Otherwise, your entire relationship is based on a lie! Why are you giving out relationship advice, Max? I just want to see a good cat fight! But he's right. Having fun yet? Having fun yet? I know she's cheating, but I don't want to ruin my date. Let's talk trivia. Do you know the answer to the trivia question? I'd rather not say. I'm kind of competitive. That's okay. We're not. Why? What do you think the answer is? It's A. We think it's A. Hmm. Good to know. 
along. See you, Sybil. 23 hey. skidoo, Mr. Lincoln. What's shaking, Mr. Ex-President? Hmm? Oh, it's you two. How are things with Sybil? Are you and Sybil dating? A gentleman doesn't kiss and tell. That's not what your MySpace page says. Hey, I <laughs> never friended you. Where's your hat? Where's your hat? I'm an enormous stone head. Why should I wear a hat? To cover your enormous stone bald spot? I don't have a bald spot, you little pipsqueak. Are you kidding? It's as big as a Volvo! If that thing's to scale, I'm amazed Booth wasn't blinded by the reflection. <laughs> Why are you so nervous? You seem nervous. Got an itch you can't scratch or something? I'm staying on the lookout for that Ken Burns guy. He will not leave me alone. Why are you here? What are you doing here? Sybil said it'd be fun to take part in Stinky's trivia contest. But like the rest of the 21st century, it's really just a confounding mishmash of unfamiliar buzzwords tossed about willy-nilly. Stinky made a game based on my presidential memoirs? Why don't you like trivia? The trivia contest can't be all that bad. Abe, you're not having a good time? No, no, of course I am, Sybil. The best. <laughs> None of this makes any sense. It's all questions about aeroplanes and electric lights and cell phone transmission specification technology. And that stinky person actually claimed she wrote the Gettysburg Address. If I weren't trying to impress Sybil, I'd headbutt that aqua-haired harlot from here to Harrisburg. Oh! Let's talk trivia. Want to compare notes on the trivia contest? That's not necessary. Abe and I know what we're doing. That's right. We're doing fine. Help me out here, guys. It's A. We think it's A. Hmm. Okay. So long. See you, AL. Represent. Jukebox. Hey, Stinky. You've got my hit single from the Embarrassing Idol finals. Poison control requires I have it to induce vomiting. West Dakota. Wizards really made his mark. The Philippines. Come for the cockfighting. Stay for the chicken. <gasps> Do we have his? Do we have Super Bowl? There it is. Toy Horseman. Whoa. Hey, that looks like one of the four Horseman action figures. Stinky, give me a Horseman. Hiya, Stinky. If that is your real name. Uh, who are you two again? Sam and Max, freelance police. The real Stinky's favorite customers. It says so right on our frequent diner cards. Which conveniently double as organ donor cards. Oh yeah, Sam and Max. Grandpa warned me about you two when he left the restaurant to me. Something about frequent threats of violence and refusal to pay your bill. He remembered us! Why are all these people here? What's going on? There's a lot of people here. It's a trivia contest. It's fun. People get to show off how little they know, and I get to show off how much I know. That doesn't sound like much incentive to play. Shows what you know. Oh, and there's a big prize, too. What's the trivia prize? What's the prize for the trivia contest? If anyone wins, they get my ancient heirloom. Sickly man on a horse. Not that anyone's come close to winning yet. <laughs> My sophisticated questions are just too esoteric for these booth monkeys. Booth monkeys? Where? It's just an expression.
How's business? How's the diner business? Well, it's no Italian villa rendezvous with George Clooney. <laughs> but reopening the family restaurant is very fulfilling. Bringing people closer to obesity-induced ischemic heart disease is its own reward. On the other hand, George is much easier on the eyes. <laughs> and the feet. <laughs> My dogs are barking louder than you, Fido. Grr. Your feet hurt? Standing up all day getting you down? And how? I was made for sending Beachside and Capri, not slinging hash counterside for a pack of ingrates. Can we play trivia? How do you play? It's easy. Just grab a trivia pad. I'll read a question. You write down the answer. I'll review the answers. And then you'll see how much smarter I am than everyone else. You can choose a team if you want. Oh, oh, Sam! Pick me! Pick me! We're ready to order. We'd like to order something. We're all out. Of what? Whatever you're going to order. That's okay. We just want to order it anyway. <laughs> all right. Daily special? We'd like the daily special. Sal Condi Rice Kickboxing the Buddha, Thai style. What's in it? What do you mean, what's in it? Poached eggs. We'll have the poached eggs with tinfoil. Sal, give me the Norse god Thor in a terrarium and spank him. Double biscuit burger, no clams. I like the double burger baked in biscuit dough. Hold the clams. Half a doppelganger in tight pants, singing solo. It's previous special with hash browns. Could I get the freshest special with hash browns? Sal, two lemony snickets and a Mexican standoff with a prairie dog. Tuna sandwich with peppers and pop rocks. We'd like the tuna sandwich, extra peppers and pop rocks on white bread. Sal, I need an Al Gore and mariachi pants riding a disco ball. Sweet and sour salt water taffy. We'd like the sweet and sour salt water taffy. Sal, Julia Roberts, put a bullet in her brain and kiss her with Andy Rooney. It's like my secret dreams made audible. Two yogurts and a turkey sandwich. We'll two yogurts and an open-faced turkey sandwich. Sal, Hubless times two with a side of Brady culture. Okay, we're good. On second thought, I'm on a diet. So long. Okay. Let's grab a trivia card. Let's give this trivia question a try. It's A. Okay, let's hear everyone's answers. We'll start with you, Sybil. I chose A. Of course you did, dear. <laughs> because you're wrong. I also chose A. <laughs> and that's very sweet, Mr. President. But also very wrong. The answer is D. D! Oh, I'm sorry. That is wrong. We also chose A. Sadly, this is a quiz, not an election. It is still wrong. The correct answer was actually B. B? Liar! All right, next question. This day of the week comes between Tuesday and Thursday. What is it? A. Doomsday. B. Wednesday. C. Doris Day. D. Menachem Begin. Oh, I see what we're doing. Look, Max, it's our incredible recording bug. Great. I finally managed to get away from my family, and now you two show up. Can a bug just eat a brimstone sandwich in peace? Ah, brimstone. I will feast on your entrails and devour your soul. What the hell? Why'd you play that demon voice? Why'd you play back that demon recording? I've got a case of PISD, Post Insecticide Stress Disorder. It keeps causing these flashbacks. How so? I get a whiff of something familiar, and the memories just come rushing back. Must have been some brimstone in the air during that exorcism. Oh, is that brimstone? This whole time I just assumed you let out a 200 pound fart. No, it was brimstone, honest. When did you start having flashbacks? How long have you had this weird flashback disorder? Ever since my company tried and failed to take Hamburger Hill. In Nam? Negative! Hamburger Hill behind the Burger Buddies on West Fifth. The place reeked of pheromones. Charlie was using Roach Motels. Roach Motels! Sounds rough. Any favorite flashbacks? What are the memories you got recorded? I want to hear him talk like zombie George Burns. I'll go get some cigars and formaldehyde. Get away from me. 
I don't want to aggravate my condition. Yeah, that's a horrible thing. You don't like your family? You don't get along with your family? Negative. Except for my dad, they're all a bunch of spineless ladybugs. Aren't all bugs spineless? Not in my regiment. If you didn't have a spine, by God, my dad would make you grow a pair. A pair of spines? That's just the kind of bug he was. Senseless and brutal. God, I miss him. Let's talk trivia. Want to compare notes on the trivia contest? That's strictly on a need-to-know basis. We've got clearance from the department of being bigger than you and having guns. Well, what do you think it is, smart guy? I'm gonna give him the right answer. It's B. We think it's B. I guess that's the best I can expect from civilians. See ya. Sir, so long, sir. One of them's Even going to angry, dog face. One of them's going to win, and we're going to ask them for the prize. Let's talk trivia. Want to compare notes on the trivia contest? Why? What do you think the answer is? A. We think it's A. Hmm. Okay. So long. See ya, Sybil. This is actually pretty easy. Let's talk trivia. Want to compare notes on the trivia contest? Yes. Hook a brother up. It's D. We think it's D. Got it. So long. See you, AL. And we're going to pick C. Trivia pad. C. Oh, C. Okay, let's hear everyone's answers. I chose B. Oh, I love how you keep playing even though you're always wrong. Never lose that. I chose D. And I don't think any less of you for that. Really. But sadly, it's still wrong. I also chose D. Oh, crap. Negative. We chose C. Refreshing, and yet wrong. He always chooses D. The answer was one nobody chose. A. What? She's lying. Okay, next. Which of the following women's names is also the name of an herb? A. Napalmette. B. Mary Juanita. C. Rosemary. D. The Pyloric Sphincter. Okay, the roach will pick D automatically. You'll pick A, you'll pick B, we'll pick C. Want to compare notes on the trivia contest? Why? What do you think the answer is? It's A. We think it's A. Okay. I'm pretty sure I know this one anyway. So long. See ya, Sybil. Let's talk trivia. Want to compare notes on the trivia contest? Yes. Hook a brother up. It's B. We think it's B. Thanks for the tip. So long. See you, AL. Represent. And you will pick D again, right? Unless there's a question each and thinks they know. Okay, let's hear everyone's answers. I chose C. Oh, and only C was an option. Wrong. I chose B. I appreciate a man unafraid to flaunt his ignorance. Wrong. The answer is D. D! No, it is not. <laughs> not. So he also chose C. You just like hearing me say it, don't you? Wrong. The answer was one nobody chose. A. What? She's lying. Time for a new question. Who is buried in Grant's tomb? A. Grant. Grant. B. The Who. C. Abbott and Costello. What? E. Spam. Okay, let's uh. You'll pick D again, hopefully. You will not, but you might want. You might know the answer to this one, so you probably will pick Grant. Talk trivia. Want to compare notes on the trivia contest? Why? What do you think the answer is? Uh, let's have you go with Abbott Costello. We think it's C. Okay, I'm pretty sure I know this one anyway. See you, Sybil. Talk trivia. Want to compare notes on the trivia contest? Yes. Hook a brother up. Okay, you're going with C. We think it's C. Great. I'll go with that. She's going to go for the right answer. Well. Okay, that makes sense. Um, he goes for D, you make him pick what he wants, and you pick the remainder. Okay, so I'm going to have to go with the B. Okay, let's hear everyone's answers. I chose A. Of course Knew it. you did, dear. <laughs> because you're wrong. She picks the I right answer. I chose C. Oh, I'm impressed, is what I would say if you were right. <laughs> Which you're not. The answer is D. D. Negative. You have a roach in your restaurant. We chose B. No, that's wrong. Oh, I guess it must be right. 
Well, congratulations. I'm really annoyed that you won, but I'm far too magnanimous to let it bother me. <laughs> Cheaters. It's the limited edition pestilence maquette with super detailed open sores. Aw, oh, see how he slumps in his saddle? Does he have any cool action features? Cut it out, Max. You don't know what that'll do. What's the worst a toy could do? Choke a toddler, blind a toddler? Hmm, eviscerate? Well, it looks like nothing happened anyway. Let's go. Okay, okay that's all that I can do here. Which means I gotta head back to the North Pole, send the ticking quatch thing to Bosco. Where to, Sam? And then head back and get the, the North Pole. Get it from them. Which means we're still missing one of the horsemen. Oh boy, we're still missing a horseman. I have a feeling we're gonna need that brimstone burger. So the brimstone burger. We're going to have to acquire by taking the snow bleach they use for malbehide, and that's probably what it is. The beach is the bleach, the bleach snow. Okay, we'll grab down the way out and head back there to Bosco. Before that, we stop by and get the brimstone burger. I don't know why, but I'm just guessing we're going to need that. We've got better things to do than jump around on a trampoline. We do? Not really. We've got better things to do than jump around on a trampoline. Okay, I'm gonna do something first. We're gonna use the plane. Trampoline, Max, now. Go for it, Max. Plane's right over it. That's a big honking tree. Those elf tears really work. Oh, I see. You drop it into the fish shooter. Cannon. It's one of those infinitely reloading cannons. Is it loaded? Well, yes. It even has the easy light wick. Which means we can use our gun to shoot it. Oh, 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 I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. I don't know if this is useful now, but... Okay, screw it. I'm wasting my time. Systematic stopwatch. Systematic stopwatch. Start kids panic ulcers early with a constant reminder that they're always running late. You can hear the precious moments of your life passing with every second. Now we just need to attach a gift tag. Right, gift tag, gift tag. Bada bing, bada boom. What unlucky person should we mail this to? Bosco. Bosco might like that. Okay, now back home. I have nothing else I need to do here probably right now. Most likely the last toy will reveal itself to me once I have all the other toys. Okay. I'm gonna need this. Ah, I love the smell of snowballs in the morning. It probably melts over time, so if I hurry back, I can probably take care of it. This is just me like guessing out my butt here, like Guy reacts to smell. Where to, Sam? Sybil's diner. Let's I mean, head home. Back to civilization, or what's left of it. Ah! Snowball hasn't messed yet. We got time. Come on! Come on! Come on! Into the restaurant. Bug! 
Being hit with a bleach snowball at this range could cause permanent blindness. And? I usually draw the line at temporary blindness. Okay, talk to Hello, him. Hello, sir. Ah! Oh, I thought you were my family. They always try to surprise me on my birthday. You someone say birthday? Oh, no. What? That was weird. What happened to your dad? What happened to your dad? You really want to know? No, not really. It was our toughest battle yet. We secured our positions in a heavily fortified dumpster when suddenly they came out of nowhere. Who? The cleaning crew. Cleaning crew! Attacking with sanitation. That's just plain dirty. The smell of bleach was overpowering. Bleach. We all would have gone thorax up if it hadn't been for my dad. I still remember his last words. Move out, maggots. God, he was concise. <laughs> Gets me every time. Every time? Show us another... F okay. So long. Sir, so long, sir. Okay, before we move, bleach. Hey, my snowball melted. Yeah! Don't you hate when that happens? You find the answers, then your snowball melts. Just typical of all games. Well, I'm getting that stinking uh, thing before uh, I go up anywhere again. Uh, I don't know uh, what I'm doing. Uh, okay. And the boss goes again. Sometimes I hate like time-based items. Howdy, Bosco. I just got a package, and this one's ticking louder than all five of Larry King's pacemakers put together. It's gotta be my mama's bomb. I'm gonna blow it to Kingdom Come. Now, while he's distracted, Max, grab the package and let's get... Look, Sam! It's the super-sized famine figure! With realistic binging and purging action, it's got over 1,700 points of articulation. So we're missing death. ...in the jowls alone! Never were good at waiting to open presents, little buddy. Wait, where's my package? Dear God, they took it, and they took Sam and Max, too. There ain't no place safe. Poor Bosco, he's going crazy. I'm probably going to need that burger or something. I need another snowmall. Why can't you walk faster, Max? Where to, Sam, Sam? Not Max. The North Pole, little buddy. The North Pole. Okay, get that. Head back. Because I'm thinking that's what I need right now. He just tipped me off the bleach. Unless I'm doing this too early. There's probably like a time thing to it. What, does the family have to show up? You got the pee whizzer? Where to, Sam? Where the heck is death? Let's head back to civilization. Or what's left of it. Good thinking. We can always freeze to death out here later. Why can't Sam be more like Max and just teleport everywhere? Now, where the heck is Mary? She's probably still in the hut. You know, in the office. I'll have to go get her later. Okay. Being hit with a bleach snowball at this range could cause permanent blindness. And? I usually draw the line at temporary blindness. Okay, I was right. It's time. Hey, my snowball melted. I don't need it yet. Whee! Shoot. Okay, we got s we have ourselves war, famine, and disease. So all we need now is death. Is there, oh, there's a garage. Death. What's this? <laughs> a clandestine meeting of the Computer Obsolescence Prevention Society. The cops are obsolete no longer. Welcome to the grand opening of Pimp the Car. We offer secure upgrades to a very exclusive clientele. How exclusive? No one! Get it. 
This auto this is an auto body shop? What was here before you opened this body shop? A string of unsuccessful body shops. That was just terminated! What makes you think you will have better luck? A recent influx of road debris will result in the projected 6-4% increase in revenue. That makes sense. Road debris? From the main tron? <laughs> no! A shipping mishap from the North Pole has resulted in a glut of unwanted torture me Elmer doll. Destroy them all! You don't like Torture Me Elmo? What have you got against Torture Me Elmer? <laughs> My associates were once the most popular toys available, but no more. Beating up a doll cannot compare with the wonder and the excitement of arithmetic and grammar. Uh-oh, Max. I think the cops may have been educational toys. I knew there was a reason I didn't like them. Anyway, guys, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and join Point and Click Sundays. I'll catch you in the next episode. Doodles!